Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain another C program to swap the first element with the last element and the second element with the second last element in the given array. This program is also called as reversing the array elements. Already we have seen one program how to reverse the array elements. In this example, I am going to explain how to reverse the array elements by using swapping the elements. The input is the number of terms, how many number of array elements present in this. Then you have to enter the array elements from 0 to n minus 1. The output of your program is print the array elements after swapping. For example, if I take n value is 8, the array name is a. The array elements are given like this 70, 80, 60, 50, 30, 20, 10 and 90. The index position of these elements are shown here. From 0 to n minus 1, n is 8 here, 8 minus 1 up to 7. The problem statement here is the first number is 70 and the last number is 90. The index position of first element is 0. The index position of last element is n minus 1, 8 minus 1, 7. Now you have to exchange this 90 and 70. 70 should come to the last position, 90 should come to the first position. Similarly, the next element, that is the second element, which is at index position 1, should be swapped with the 10, which is present in the sixth position. So now 10 comes to the second position, 80 comes to the last position. Now 60 and 20 will be exchanged and 50 and 30 will be exchanged. This is the problem statement. Let's think how we can do this. First, take the first element and last element. The first element index position is 0, last element index position is 7. Now you know how to swap, we have three steps. First store a of 0 in a temporary variable, a of 7 will be assigned to a of 0, then x will be assigned to a of 7. This is the logic. Similarly, you have to swap 80 and 10, which are at index positions 1 and 6, which are at the index positions 2 and 5, and which are at the index positions 3 and 4. These elements are swapped. But for convenience, I will take two variables. One variable is i indexing from 0, that is from the left position, i is equal to 0. And I am taking another variable j, which is assigned here n minus 1, that is the last element. I am taking j is a last element, n minus 1 is 8 minus 1, 7 here. Now one variable is at the left side and one variable is at the right side. Now swap these two elements. Once this step is over, then i value is incremented by 1. Then j value will be decremented by 1. Now j value is 7. Decrement the j value by 1, then it will become 6. Now i value is 1, j value is 6. Now swap these two elements. Once this is finished, then again i value is incremented, so it will come to the second position j value will be decremented again, it will come to the fifth position. Now these two elements will be swapped together. Similarly, i value will be incremented to the next position, j value will be decremented to the next position, these two elements will be swapped. So now, when this process will be terminated, up to when i value reaches to n by 2, that is how many number of elements are there, 8, so you are coming four positions from the left side and four positions from the right side. So at this case, you can stop the process. So why? Because if I increment i value here, again you will move to the i value to four. We already swapped this number, so no need of this. So this is very simple logic if you understand. Now see the logic here. For i value starts from zero to n by two. Why I am not repeating all the elements when you reach to n by 2 position, here n by 2 is 4. So when 
4 less than 4, the condition will become false. Up to 3, it will be repeated. So when you have odd numbers, then that element will be skipped together. There is no need to swap that single element. So come back to the logic here. For i is equal to 0 to n by 2, I am taking a of i will be assigned to x. a of i is 0 now. First element will be stored in temporary variable. Then a of j, a of j will be n minus 1, last element. a of j will be swapped to the first position. Then x will be stored in the a of j. Now I am decrementing the j is equal to j minus 1. This loop is almost similar to the previous program except this line. One variable I am taking from left side that is going to increment in. That is by default it will be in the for loop and j is decrementing from the right side. So now see the pseudocode here. First take the n value. Then take the array elements, then print the elements before swapping and then write the logic to swap. Finally print the elements after swapping. Let's write this program. Header files and main function, I am taking a variable a and for iteration purpose, I am taking index variable. Printf, enter the number of elements. I am taking the n value here. Scanf, percentage d comma ampersand n a new variable is introduced here so declare it so this is how many number of array elements whether it is 8 9 10 etc once you read this the second step is take the elements that is read the elements into the array for this printf enter the array elements so for this you have to take a for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus here why i am taking n just i am taking the array elements from 0 to n minus 1 scan f percentage d comma ampersand a of i this is the logic to take the array elements now we finish this step now print the elements before swapping just i want to print the array elements let's print it print the array elements before swapping slash n for the new line i want to print it use a for loop for i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus printf percentage d a space i am giving comma a of i i am printing the array elements before swapping similarly use the same lines to print the array elements after swapping the array elements after swapping you can also take slash n slash n now between this i have to write the swapping logic now the logic here is i value is initialized to zero that i will declare in the for loop no issue j value is n minus one so why because i am assigning the last position new variable is introduced so declare a variable j j is equal to n minus 1 i am assigning the j value to the last position now write the for loop for i is equal to 0 i initialize the i value i less than n by 2 why i am taking n by 2 here if you reach to the n by 2th position almost the elements are swapped from the left side and right side then increment the i value by 1 inside this you have to write the logic x is equal to a of i x is a temporary variable here i am assigning the first element a of 0 to the temporary location then the last element a of j will be assigned to a of i then you are assigning the temporary value x to the a of j if you want additional details on this three points you can please watch my 
previous video that is how to swap the array elements these are the three steps additionally i want to add one more statement that is j is equal to j minus 1 why this line initially j value is the last element once this swapping is done i value is incremented here there is no need to increment i is equal to i plus 1 in the for loop itself i am incrementing the i value now j value from 7 to you have to come to the 6 so then j value is to be decremented similarly in the next iteration it will be decremented here i introduced another variable that is for temporary variable x declare the x variable save this program compile this program and execute this program enter the number of elements eight elements i am taking enter the array elements 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 you can see here the elements before the swapping are in the same order 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 now first element is swapped with the last elements 80 is coming to the first and 10 is going to the last position similarly 70 and 20 is exchanged 30 and 60 are exchanged 40 and 50 are exchanged now you can observe here all the elements are coming in the reverse order let's take this uh, for odd number of test case compile this and if i take odd number of elements 7 let's take 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and you can observe the reverse of these array elements this is another simple logic to swap the array elements if you have any queries please comment in the comment section thank you for watching